Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Well, today's video is going to be the part 2 of a story time that I filmed actually one year ago and it was called Did I fall in love with a guy that I just met? And of course the answer to that question was yes. I did fall in love with him and basically I finished that video by saying that I was waiting for him to text me or something and in today's video I'm just going to talk about how the story continued but since I was meant to film this video quite a long time ago now I have lots of things to say and I'm thinking that I will divide this story time into three parts so you already saw the part one so this video is going to be the part two and then I will also upload a part three so stay tuned for that and of course if you missed the first part of the video then I will recommend you to check it out I will link it down below as well as on the i and if you watched that already then just keep on watching so basically in the first part of the story time I told you guys that I met this guy and that I was waiting for him to text me and well he actually never texted me so I was courageous like I told you and I sent a request on Facebook which of course he accepted and then it stopped there we didn't talk we didn't text each other we were friends on Facebook and that was it so a few months later, just a month later I think it was, I actually texted him because one of my friends told me that the guy of the linguistic high school had already the result for the English certification. So I texted him with the excuse that I wanted to know how did they have the results already and he told me how to and then we talked for a little but once again, it just stopped there. We just talked basically about random things such as, uh, oh, which result did you get? Oh, I got that, I got that, whatever. And then, like I said, it just stopped there. So I was like, okay, yeah, probably it was not meant to be, even though I actually thought it was destiny. So it was kind of strange to think that, you know, that I was not interested or something because it was so sure that I was actually flirting with me. And then, uh, a couple months passed by, school ended, and then a couple months passed by, school started again. And basically, I decided to take also the first classes to have another English certification, even though I already got a B2 with the PET exam. And actually, I think that I did an old video about my English certifications. So if you're interested, I will leave that in the eye as well. But uh, basically, I decided to do also this other test, hopefully to get a C1, even though I, I don't know if I will get it, we'll see. And I kind of did dream about the possibility that it could be there as well, taking the same course as I was, but it was just a dream, I never thought that it could actually be real. And uh, when I actually saw the classes that were formed, and I saw that his name was the first one in the list together with mine, I freaked out. I was so freaking happy and it was just amazing. Like I saw it again as an opportunity and uh, the only bad thing about that classes was the timetable because we had classes from 5 till 7 and it was just crazy because that meant that I had to come back home from school and then come back again to take the classes so, so that was kind of inconvenient actually and me and one of my classmates text about that and then she decided to tell our teacher that uh, we wanted to change classes and well that's an old other story I'm going to talk about it but first of all let me talk about my first classes with them so we arrived that early and I just take a seat and the crazy thing is that I take a seat next to a friend of mine and then next to me there was an empty spot so I just don't know if I did it because I thought that maybe he would sit there don't ask me, probably he would but so when you walk in I literally freak out I had not the goods to just look at him or whatsoever and I don't know if he noticed me until the teacher asked me to go and take the keys to lock the thing where the computer was and uh, well I did it whatsoever so when I come back and I give her the key I saw him talking to his friends and saying something like oh that was the girl with who I did the accent so I knew that he noticed me and uh, I didn't want to leave the class without saying hi so before we get out I say hi and 
he literally didn't answer me he didn't say anything he just blinked his eyes on me and if you guys saw the first part of the story time you know that uh, he actually did it once before when we were waiting to get and do the exam so I was like freaking out, I had no idea about what that could possibly be. Actually later on you will hear this part on the third part of the story time that ask him what that meant and instead I just meant oh that's been a long time since I saw you. So it's not like you know misinterpreted whatsoever. At first I had no idea what that could mean and I just did dream about that of course and also wrote a song which you guys probably heard a sneak peek and it was called uh, Something New and uh, I think of course I'm gonna talk about the song better in the third part of the video but I just wrote it because I felt the need to express in my feelings and then uh, come back to this girl who told the professor that we wanted to change class they actually changed classes and they switch it and I was no more in the same class as him so I freak out I was so mad with this girl and I just didn't know what to do so I knew that I wanted to stay in the same class as him I knew that nothing could ever happen between us and of course I knew that even if I would stay in the same class there was a possibility that nothing could happen but at least I would see him and uh, I decided actually to call the school to ask them if they can switch me back to this class that I was before and they were mad at me, they were yelling at me and stuff like that and I kind of got in trouble, well not really but my teacher the next day came to me like saying oh why did you do that and I was like um I have a problem with Javian school that's where I got my lessons which of course it was a lie but I mean how am I supposed to tell my teacher that the only reason why I wanted to change classes again was because I wanted to stay with a guy that I just randomly met once and I fell in love with ever since. So luckily they let me come back to the class that I was before. We didn't talk, we literally didn't talk at all and of course I would try to say like hi sometimes but that was it literally. And I was kind of mad and frustrated about that and I didn't know what to do but I knew that I had to do something just to change things or to let him know actually what was going on with me so I did something really crazy which you will hear in the part 3 and I'm pretty sure that this video is not actually long but if I will talk about this thing right now then it would be like ages long so I'm just going to divide it but just know that the last class that we had before the exam we were sitting close and not actually next to each other but I was in the front line and he was on the second line and uh, basically there was a moment when I turned and uh, he was looking at me and I was looking at him so it was just eye contact and I didn't break the connection I was so proud of myself because I didn't break it and I think that I told this in the first story time that he always tried to look at me right in the eye and I was just not able to kind of deal with it I was just like look down or something I just couldn't look straight to his eyes and now I'm happy because I was not the one who break that connection and uh, yeah, well, I think that gave me actually the goods to do what I did the next day. And I'm actually going to give you guys a little sneak peek. So there's a clip that I filmed the same day that uh, this eye contact situation happened before the class. And I'm just going to insert it. Well, I just don't know how to explain this. So I have an idea on my mind and Basically, I'm thinking about giving the guy that I like one of the songs that I wrote about him, which is pretty much the song that I wrote the first time that I saw him again. And, well, giving him this song would be like telling him literally that I'm in love with him because the song is really explicit. I don't think there's, you know, anything that could be mistakable, but I'm really freak out. I don't know if I will do it. I don't know what's going on. I'm really, really stressed out. I literally don't know what to do. We actually didn't talk 
for almost the whole classes, like each classes that we had, we didn't talk. And I don't know if it's worth it, I literally don't know. I think I just want to do it, not because I'm thinking that if I say him this, then things may change because I'm pretty sure that anything would change. I personally, you guys know, I want to move to London and uh, from what I know, he wants to go to Rome, so we'd be in two totally different cities and maybe he also has a girlfriend already because I did some research, let's say, on Ask and well, I think it has a girlfriend, not totally sure though. But the point is, I'm not doing this because I want him to stay with me or anything like that. I just still want to do it because I genuinely want to let someone know what I feel about them. Let someone know that that song was for them because I think it's more like a challenge with myself rather than with him. Wish me good luck! Well, if you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as well, and of course, don't forget to stay tuned for the part 3. Until, see you guys next time. Bye!